old and tired looking Imran Khan, very uh, catchy photograph of the latest uh, India Today magazine. This is the one that you have. And your title, Raj, is down but not out. Well, there are two parts to that title. There's down, and he's certainly down, and he's going to lose this particular test match. Uh, whatever is happening in the assembly is uh, just the motions, and uh, it's, it's pretty in inevitable given the kind of numbers stacked against him. Now, and uh, down also because the way he went about doing this business, the recklessness which he showed in violating the constitutional, uh, the rap he got from the Supreme Court, his whole bid to sort of, uh, uh, you know, cover his tracks, that were, uh, so to speak, and try to come out as a martyr, in some senses, that is punctured. Of course, we saw him last night make this appeal to the nation and say that uh, this was part of a conspiracy, there is a foreign hand at work, which is the U.S., and I've been, you know, wrongfully, uh, uh, you know, ousted from power. And that is going to be his pitch when he goes to elections. But clearly, uh, the things are stacked against him at the moment because top of the mind is going to be the economy where he hasn't performed well. He has no answers to that. He has given no answers to the assembly on that. That is going to be a major campaign. The second part, of course, is that he has clearly taken on the army. Even yesterday when he praised India, that was a dangerous game to say that India enjoys sovereignty when everybody knows that the army controls both foreign affairs and security. And this was a direct reference to the army. You know, that's an important point, uh, you know, because there's a feeling that the final blow in a way to Imran Khan was not just the opposition coming together, but the fact that Imran Khan was seen to have crossed a red line vis-a-vis -vis the Pakistani army. It comes with uh, the delay in the appointment or reappointment of the ISI chief, who will also succeed General Bajwa was a big question. Do you think the army, in a sense, has decided now Imran Khan is bad news? Especially, as you said, the manner in which he seems to be praising India. That's the worst thing, in a way, yes. for a Pakistani <laughs> prime minister to do. And also, I think the army, I mean, apart from the fact that he's taking them directly, not with j just on the, you know, uh, 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 on the fact of the former ISI chief and the delay in his appointment, but I think the army also noticed that there was a sense in particularly Punjab, of disillusionment with Imran Khan's government. It was not a, just a matter of, you know, him, uh, uh, you know, delaying a, a appointment. I think they, were, they felt that he had lost the popular support in many, in the key province, which is Punjab, which uh, sort of has 44% of the seats in, in the National Assembly. And the flak was coming on to the army because he was seen as a selected prime minister, not as an elected one. Yes. And the army was beginning to get the flak. And if you notice, the opposition leaders, including Mia Nawaz Sh Sharif, as well as Mariam and others, had started directly pinpointing the army and General Bajwa as the cause for, the, for these problems. So in that sense, the army is now, when it says neutral, is virtually looking at the opposition and seeing what is, uh, you know, what can come out of this. Now, I think that has certain repercussions in the sense that if you go forward beyond the vote that is there, we, we very clearly see that Imran Khan has positioned himself. Now, the difficulty lies with the opposition. They're going to win this vote, there's no doubt. They, they will form a government. How, how long will that government run? Because they don't want to get into the anti-incumbency issues and get the blame for all the woes that Imran Khan had caused. Mm -hmm. So that is, the timing is very critical. Then as we know that General Bajwa's term ends in November. So w does this mean, is there a deal, uh, kind of a quid pro, uh, deal, uh, quid pro quo deal between the PMNL and the opposition with the army that General Bajwa gets his extension or puts a chief of his liking rather than uh, General Hamid? And secondly, does this also mean that uh, Nawaz Sharif, who's not present, and Mariam Sharif, who have major charges against them, disqualified from the election, both of them have convictions. Uh, Nawaz Sharif faces a jail And jam he's in London. And he's in London. Will there be a move to allow them, or at least uh, send them a pardon of some sort where they can participate in the elections, or at least come down for that? So these are things we need to watch. And the opposition, of course, the main thing is that it is unity. Right now, they've come together to be with uh, in the uh, in the in the uh, vote of no confidence but let's not forget they fought independently of each other pmnl uh, that is the pakistan muslim league nawaz and ppp the pakistan people's party which uh, bilawal bhutto heads has always been against each other except in 2008 when they came to a, to a understanding for a national government which is what they are going to do at this time at mm -hmm. this but if they fight the election separately, if you see the vote percentages in the last uh, 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 elections, uh, P uh, PTI, which is Imran's party, gets 32%. Uh, uh, PMLL gets 24%. And PPP gets 13%. Now, if there's a three-way split 
in the vote. And that's why we are saying Imran Khan is not out. Because if he's able to, he's still tremendously popular among a certain class of people. If he's able to marshal his forces, these guys, the opposition begins to split and show their differences in the next six months. He still has a chance of at least coming back if, if, if things go well. But at the moment, it's terribly stacked against him. Uh, Kamar Chima, uh, down but not out. I think that's a good way to describe possibly Imran Khan's situation at the moment. Does Imran Khan have any more cards that he can play right away, apart from hoping now for an early election where he can ride on this anti-American momentum? Is it a done deal that the Speaker can delay the proceedings in the House, but sooner or later, sometime today, it will be curtains for Imran Khan? 